Right, I'm joining you from under our, our Range Rover Sport L494. And what we're going to look at today is, is the exhaust. So you can see the exhaust comes up. Oh, yeah, come around this side of it down. So the exhaust comes up the middle. And then you've got this sort of Y and it splits. And you've got um, what we call a silencer over there. And we've got a silencer over here. Now, on the so each silencer has just got one pipe in and one pipe out. Now, on the SVR, they had some trickery going on. So one thing we're contemplating doing is making our 5 litre supercharged sound a bit more aggressive. So we've been having a look and we bought on eBay a second man exhaust. So there we go, where have we got that down? We've got that over here. Okay, and what, so this is the silencer. So we only bought the silencer. So you've still got your one input, your single input pipe. But you've got the twin output pipes, and they had the body kit, obviously. And there was probably some tips that should go on here. Tips are down there. Tips are down there. Grab a tips, Dan. Let's have a look at the tips. Right, right then. Well, then and they, they sort of go on the end of there, don't they, Dan? There you go. There's the tips. Um, right. So what have we got? We've got some trickery. So obviously the pod go in. Now inside it must make it. So there's a, a motor here. And that drives a little flap. Can we see the flap inside, Dan? You reckon? Yeah, you can see the little flap inside. And Dan will have a little a little turn of that. Okay. Uh, and there's a motor that drives it. And that flap then lets the exhaust, rather than going through the silencing, muffling bit of it, it and going out this one, it lets it... So I thought, wow, that'd be cool. Dan. Well, let's, let's just buy that. And then we'll have a little switch, a little Bluetooth switch. Um, I thought you can buy those Bluetooth switches on eBay and I'll have a little app on my phone and I'll put power to it and we'll open the valve and we'll upset all the neighbours. Um, great. But you've got that little Bluetooth switch we were going to try. But then we did a bit of reading and we tried connecting it to the battery and it's not a simple switch. Um, it uses something called LIN bus. You can read up about it because we're going to have to. L-I-N bus, which is a single wire communication. So we looked at the wiring diagram. Uh, and the wiring diagram you can see here for Land Rover. Oh, I can't even. So there's the, what they call it, active. They call it, that's right, they call it the active exhaust, don't they, Dan? Rather than the noisy, yobbish exhaust, which it ought to be called, really. And you've got three wires coming into each of the activators. So it's the same setup on each side. But the middle wire there, that green one, brown wire, goes to a controller that goes around to another controller that is the, and that's controlled by Linbus. So we could get a Linbus analyzer, get borrowed, we could borrow our mate Geese, he's got a SVR, and we could monitor the signal. We may have to do that. Um, or we could look for another motor that literally you put 12 volts, it's open, and you put, um, you reverse the voltage and it closes. Um, so there we go. That's where we're at. But what we're going to do to finish this video, we are going to cut open this exhaust and have a look inside how the silencing works and goes. Because we just like knowing how things work, don't we, Dan? Right then, I'm going to get my gloves on and I'm going to go outside and I'll join you again in a minute and we'll lash into this and see what's going on. One, one little thing I'll show you before I go hacking into things is let me just take this motor off and just show you a bit more how that flap and the motor works so you can undo those three bolts you can take the actuator off honestly there we go and then you've just got this little and i think the, sp the, the spring is there just to give it a little bit of a when it goes it just gives it a slightly smoother motion and then what you've got there, and I don't know if we turn the torch on, as you return that, let me get the torch on, you might be able to see inside, Dan, is that helping you? Yeah, that's better. And you can see the butterfly valve there, opening, closing, yeah, so that's what, so that's what that bit does, so right, let's get back outside. Here we go, let's, let's, let's cut into this and see what's going on. Oh, I get in, Dan? <laughs> what's it doing? Right. Watch your volume if you've got headphones in. Yeah. No, you plugged it in, Dan. Yeah? 
Right, here we go. Dan's got it plugged in now. Here we go. in here not a lot so obviously the, the gas is coming in here and if this valve is closed they have to come through these perforate holes here um that i think is just to just a support bracket, isn't embrace in it so you've got this central gusset plate in here so the exhaust gases can either go through this hole here and then what have we got on here we got any no then they, they can't then the only way out the only way out is through, that's a solid pipe, is to exit here. So they either have to come through here and through there, but also some of them can go in there, but that, there's no way out of, that's not perforated. So, strange. Strange, but they're clever, these exhausts. So, so you're only, by opening this, you're only cutting out a little bit of that. It'd be interesting to, to see how much difference it does make cutting those silencers off the cut. Um, or one of them maybe. Anyway, we'll have a look. but that's where we'll end this video. So that's what's inside a Range Rover Sport SVR exhaust.